Hey now, Mike Shaman here, and today I'm going to show you how to do a floating button in Divi. And it's pretty simple to do, and it's pretty effective for what, I mean, if you need it, it can be a really effective item for you to use, for you to add to your arsenal. But let's see how you do it. First, I'm just going to go, to, this is my website, or a one-page website I made for tutorial purposes. I'm just going to go to a new uh, module here, and it's got a button. And nothing special about this website, all made with Divi, no custom CSS, no anything like that. Let's get into it here. I'm just going to go to the link and I'm going to put a, actually I'll put my um, contact link there. And I will go to the button text and I go to contact us. Okay. Maybe I'm having a floating button there and then I'll do a background for tutorial purpose here. And it'll be white with a uh, red background. And then we'll increase the size. And again, you can style it to whatever you want. I just want to style it so you guys can see it floating around. All right. And let's go to check. Now I have this floating around. And actually, let me put a little box shadow on it just so it looks a little bit better. Just so it looks a little bit better. Get a box shadow and put that on there. And then just put it in the position you want. And we'll darken it up just a little bit. Put a drop shadow. Maybe let's put a drop shadow. It looks a little bit better for, for floaters. Okay, and now let's go to, if we go back to the settings there and go to advanced, go to position, and we go to fixed. It'll move our button all the way down here to the corner. All right. Or actually, it'll move our button all the way up here to the corner. All right. And actually, I want it all the way on the bottom. So I'll do that. And then I want to set the V offset. I want to make it a, not hugging the corner right here. It's hugging the corner there. I want to set it off a little bit from that. So let's do 32 pixels and 32 pixels. All right. And that gives us a good spot right there. And for the Z index, I'm just going to put it up a little bit to make sure it flies over everything there. I right, just got to check. All right, now I got a little floating button right there. It's kind of cool. I'm just going to go here and go to save. And let's see if it all works out correctly. All right, now there's my button. If you go contact us, it scrolls right to my contact form. Right? So that is pretty cool.